again. I'm so glad you're back. It's Michelle from The Singing Baker. I thought I would share with you today one of my most popular appetizers. I almost can never make enough of these things. They just, by the time I put them on the table, it seems like they're gone and I gotta do a new batch of them. So it is my filet crostini. It has a little slice of filet mignon on the top with horseradish cream on top of a crostini. So stay tuned, we're gonna get started. started on my crostini bread so I've taken a baguette I have sliced it diagonally brushed it with some olive oil on both sides and then I've just broiled it in the oven for about a minute on each side so what you're left here is a nice goldy toasty bread and you can always do these in advance so this is a nice step that you can do ahead of time just let them cool once they are cooled completely then you can put them in a ziploc bag for a few hours and they're just fine so got those done my next step is I'm going to make my horseradish cream and I will put the ingredients in the recipe link below but you're basically mix mixing sour cream here with some prepared horseradish. A very simple recipe. And then I usually season it with some salt and pepper as well. And a little bit of horseradish cream. The horseradish gives it a little bit of a kick. And you can make this cream about a, maybe a half an hour to an hour at the most ahead of time. So a little bit in advance, but not, not too far in advance. And it's as simple as that. I'm gonna just season it with some salt and pepper. You can season that to taste. And then we will set that aside in the fridge while we start to season our steaks. Okay, so now that we have our horseradish cream in the fridge, I'm gonna be starting to season up my steaks here. I have about a pound to pound and a half of filet mignon. So it's a little bit of an elegant appetizer, but if it's like a really special occasion, I usually pull this appetizer out. So I'm just gonna season it generously with salt and pepper. And I like to actually put it onto a grill pan or straight on the grill outside if I have, if the weather's good. And I will get a nice sear on it and then I'll fill, finish it off in the oven on, in the broiler. So here we go with some salt and pepper. And when I grill, I usually put a little bit of olive oil on the grill just to oil it down a little bit. And you're gonna season both sides of your steak. So we've gotten a nice sear on our steaks and I'm gonna move them into the broiler in the oven and they're just gonna broil for about five minutes on each side. That'll give you a nice medium rare. So my steaks are done. They're smelling delicious here on the cutting board. Uh, make sure you always let your steaks rest for maybe 10 minutes uh, before you cut into them. You wanna definitely let them rest, let the juices settle inside. If you uh, slice into it a little bit too soon, um, you'll just make your steak a little bit too dry. Um, you'll lose all the nice juices inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to slice them into very thin slices. And then after we slice it, we can basically assemble it. We're gonna be putting a little bit of our horseradish cream that we made earlier on each crostini, and then a slice of the filet. And then I've also taken watercress. Watercress is a nice peppery green has a little bit of a bite to it. It actually has a lot of nutrients as well. It's one of the higher nutrient uh, produce that you can find on the planet actually. And um, you're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of watercress on the top just for a nice little peppery bite. So I'm gonna go ahead and start slicing and assembling these. So we have sliced up some of our steak here. I'm gonna start to assemble. So take one of our little toasty breads, a little bit of horseradish cream, and just spread it out throughout the piece of bread. And remember we added that horseradish earlier with the salt and pepper and it just adds a nice little bite to it. And then just get one of your slices of steak. And you can do one or two depending on the size on each steak here. 
and then just a little sprinkle of the water watercress. So it basically looks like a pretty little crostini like that. So I'm gonna take a bite. The steak is really juicy. It's nice and flavored with the salt and pepper. Nice little sear on it. And then the horseradish cream gives a little bit of coolness, at the same time giving a little bit of a bite from the horseradish. And then the watercress on top adds a little bit of a peppery taste with a nice fresh taste as well. So I hope you add this to your list of recipes that you enjoy. If you did like this video, please give me a like below and subscribe to my channel for more, more videos coming your way.